We're here in our Jupyter Notebook, which will be our Python development environment for today. To begin, we're going to start off by importing the Python libraries, which we will require for our notebook. Included in those Python libraries is our pip installable Wallaroo SDK. Next up, we'll connect to our Wallaroo client, and in that same cell, we'll also connect to our Wallaroo workspace. Once we're set up, we can move on to what I like to call the 123 of model deployment with Wallaroo. That's because with Wallaroo and three lines of code, I'm able to get my model deployed to the cloud and into production. In the first line of code, we upload our model. We provide it our model's name, file path, and framework. In this instance, our model happens to be of type Onyx, but Wallaroo also supports your favorite ML framework. Once our model is uploaded, we can move on to our second line of code. In the second line of code, we configure our deployment hardware. Wallaroo being installed on Kubernetes, this abstraction makes Kubernetes fun and easy to use. Along with the amount of memory we wish to specify, we're able to specify how many CPUs and GPUs we wish to allocate to our deployment. With the help of replica count, we can also specify how many concurrencies we wish our deployment to have. Another advantage to this level of abstraction is how easy it is to experiment with different configurations. Considering that we wish to get our models to the edge, Wallaroo's deployment configuration helps simplify the simulation of our edge deployment environment before we get our deployments there. Once we're finished with our configurations, we can move on to the third line of code. Our third line of code is where we're able to use our uploaded model and configurations to deploy our pipeline. Deploying our pipeline takes about 45 seconds, and once we're deployed, we're now able to test our pipeline. Let's first import some data. Plotting it, we see that it's a picture of an inventory on a retail shelf. We'll do a bit of pre-processing on our data, and once we're done, we can now call Wallaroo's built-in infer function on our data. Calling infer, we see we get a few things back. We get our inputs, and we also receive our inference, which is made up of the bounding boxes, their classes, and their confidences. To ensure our results are what we expect, we can take our test results and plot it on our initial image to see how it looks. Once we're done testing our deployment, we can get our pipeline's endpoints URL, which we can use to make API calls and integrate into our other applications. And so with three lines of code, we can see how Wallaroo makes it seamless to deploy our models to the cloud.